Hey, Mr. Evans here, and this is uh, graphing y equals ax squared plus c. Let's go ahead and start. These are going to graph parabolas, you guys. You've probably seen them before. Um, so let's go ahead and graph y equals x squared. And I made a t-chart and it made uh, x is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And I'm just going to square them. So uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So uh, 9 is going to go here. When I square negative 2, that's going to be 4. When I square negative 1, that's 1, 0, and then it's going to be 1, 4, 9. Okay, so I'm going to get those y values right there, and it's going to make a graph that goes up like that. There they are right there, and there's my parabola. Okay, now um, the trick is this, you guys. If you know where the vertex is, the vertex is right here where um, it, it bottoms out right there. In fact, this is called a minimum. We'll learn in a little bit. But the trick is, if you know where the vertex is, when you go over 1, it goes up 1 squared. If I go over 1, it goes up 1 squared. Go back to the vertex. If I go over 2, it goes up 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4. So over 2, it would go up 4 on both sides. If I went over 3, 3 squared is 9. There it is, up there at 9. Okay, that's the trick on these guys. You know, you're welcome to make these t-charts if you want, you guys. But if you know where the vertex is, over and up squared, over and up squared. Now it changes a little bit when we get something like this guy, y equals 3x squared, and I'll show you. Let's go ahead and graph. We'll do the t-chart on this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and plug in negative 3, and it says to compare it with y equals x squared. So we're going to compare it with this graph right here, okay? We're going to see uh, what it does right there, okay? So... Um, so when I do negative 3, I plug in negative 3 right there. Negative 3 squared is 9, and then 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 is going to go here and here, okay? And then when I plug in um, uh, negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. That's why I got 12 here and here, 3 here and here. Now, I'm only going to graph these ones in the box right here because I don't have enough room to go up 27 right there. Okay, so I'm going to go to the left 2, up 12, so I'm going to have to extend this. I think I'll have enough room right there. To the left 1, up 3, uh, 0, 0, over 1, up 3, over 2, up 12. So I extended my, uh, there's y equals x squared because it asked us to compare that. So um, there's uh, y equals 3x squared, okay? That's what these, this in the box are all these numbers here. So here's negative 2, 12. Here's a um, uh, negative 1, 3 right here. Here's positive 1, 3, and then here's positive 2, 12. Okay, so the red guy is y equals 3x squared. The blue guy is y equals x squared. Okay, now what I want you to see is check this out. It didn't go over 1, up 1 squared, because that would have been right here. It went over 1, up 3, which is 3 times 1 squared. This number times 1 squared. Check it out. If I go over 2, 2 squared is 4, but it's 3 times 2 squared. So 3 times 4 would be 12, you guys. All right. If I wanted to go over, if I had enough room, 3, 3 squared is 9, but 3 times 3 would be 27. So there they are right there. That's the quick way to graph it right there. Okay, now it says compare that, you guys. Okay, so they have the same vertex right here. They have the same axis of symmetry. This is the same axis of symmetry. It's this line that goes right up the middle of them where you can fold them in half right there. Okay, so they have the same vertex and the same axis of symmetry. Both open up. They open up because that's a positive 3 and that's a positive 1 right there. That's why they're opening up. The 3x squared is more narrow than the y equals x squared. Okay, that's the big part I want you to notice. I want you to notice that it, they're both opening up, but I want you to notice it's also more narrow right there. All right, how about this one? Okay, we're going to compare it with y equals x squared. y equals 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth, sorry, x squared, and then compare that. Okay, so I'm going to plug in negative 6, and I'm choosing even numbers, you guys, because i got to take a fourth of them at the end. All right, so negative 6 squared is 36. 1 fourth is the same as dividing by 4, so 4 goes into 36 9 times, but there's a negative right here. This, these are all always going to be negative numbers because the square is always going to make them positive, but this says multiplying by negative. So this is going to be negative 9. This is going to be negative 9 right there. I think I did the rest of them also. Okay, and then when I plugged in negative 4, okay, negative 4 squared is 16, and then a fourth of that is 4, but it's negative 4. Okay, and then when I plugged in the other guys, okay, I get uh, negative 1, negative 1, and then 0, 0. Okay, and there's the graph right there. And I only graphed those ones in this box right here. And there it is right here. So compare these two graphs. 
Well, look at this one. This one opens down. So what it's going to say is it's a reflection over this x-axis. It's a reflected right over the x-axis. It opens down, has the same vertex, has the same axis of symmetry, which is this middle line right down the middle right there, um, reflected over the x-axis. Oh, and it's wider. Okay, that one-fourth made it wider. Remember, the three on the other side made it skinnier. Okay, so it's uh, wider on that. All right, let's graph y equals x squared plus 2. Okay, I know the vertex is going to be at x equals 0, 2. The vertex is going to be right there. And then, since there's no number in front of the x squared, the quick way to do this is from here over 1, up 1 squared. And you're going to put a point there and there. This is the vertex right there. Over 2, up 2 squared. So from here, it's going to go up 4, which is up to 6, because you're already up 2. Okay, and if I wanted to go over 3 from the vertex, remember the vertex is right there, and I know it's right there because the plus 2, okay, over 3 it would go up 9. All right, so that, that's the pattern right there, and I think, yep, I did it, up 9 right there. Okay, and then connect them up, and there it is right there. It's the same graph as y equals just plain old x squared, except it's up there at plus 2. All right, what about this guy? Okay, this is going to be reflected over the x-axis, except the vertex is at plus 3 right there, so uh, there's plus 3. It's going down because it's negative, okay? It's going down over 1, down a half of 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, a half of that's just a half. It's only going to go over a half on both sides. From the vertex again, over 2. 2 squared is 4, but it's always a half, so it's going to go down uh, a half of 4, which is down 2. So right there and right there. And then when I go over 3, 3 squared is 9, so it's going to go down 4 and a half. Okay, it looks like I went over 4 on this one because 4 squared is 16, and a half of that is going to be uh, uh, 8. So it went down 8 from there when I went over 4. Okay, go ahead and connect it up right there. All right, that's the quick way. You can do the T-chart if you want. Uh, I just, I'd rather do it that quick way right there. All right, that's it right there, you guys.